Hello YouTube. I've been following the discussion about evolution, creation, God, and I'd like to contribute some thoughts. Since I'm not a native speaker, I'd like you to um, excuse my mistakes and uh, thank you for your patience if I stall a bit at some point. So, um, I'd like to start with the idea of a scientific theory, or the definition of a scientific theory which implies that a theory has to be falsifiable. For example, the theory of the Big Bang predicts background radiation. If no background radiation was found, the theory of the Big Bang would have been a mistake. So, um, what about the theory of God creating the Earth and some predictions falling from that which could prove that God didn't create the Earth. Getting back to the Big Bang, it implies, in, or it predicts, uh, it is, if it's true, it is the initial cause of our universe. So, uh, as Kant pointed out in his critique of pure reason, you can't from within a system say nothing about anything beyond or before the initial cause. A lot of room for speculation. Could be a creator, could be could come from nothing, quite likely if you look at vacuum energy, but um doesn't have to be. Could be anything. So I like to focus on another thing which is um objective. that this universe exists, the probability of this universe existing is one. So, um, one might talk about one God. <laughs> yeah, one universe. So, uh, I now try to distinct the universe from God, but I'd like to say that my God is the universe. Because it's infinite, it's eternal, I can't avoid its rules. It's made it made me and uh, sounds pretty much like a god to me. And uh, okay, but now universe. This universe gave me good and bad through evolution. Because if it, you can't tell good from bad, if you can't tell poison from food, you will die. So good and bad is maybe the oldest concept of life at all. And um, so, to make right and wrong from good and bad, we need some more. We need empathy. So, the root of all our morals. Um, and another thing is consciousness, which makes our all-knowing God. We know all we know, and therefore enforcing our morals. But Again, only the morals we've learned. So, if you have no empathy with a dog, it's not immoral to eat a dog. If you have empathy with a dog, it will be immoral. Again, if you have no empathy with a guy next door, you might kill him, but um, that you would have learned. So, um, yeah, consciousness, revelation, revelation of the beauty of the universe the beauty, the miraculous ways of God, the universe, watching at a flower, the heaven, learning, um, and so I'm, I'm actually a quite religious person, but I don't believe in books. There are quite, some quite good concepts in these books, and I believe they were state-of-the-art at that time, in many ways, but um, still, they're books, and they're written by humans, and um, yeah, they're inspired by God, of course, and I can believe in fairly any God, but uh, not, not books, so... Um, 
that's about it. I uh, yes, my <laughs> my point of view is, is called a pantheist, and uh, Schopenhauer called pantheism as uh, called pantheism the lame excuse of the atheism of old professors, which is okay for me. But I'm optimistic. I mean, okay, atheism or the the related humanism humanism thing. Um, I mean, you c you can choose to not believe in any god, and uh, yeah, and you you ha you can you can take an optimistic point of view about that. I mean, Sartre said, "Okay, we're lost in a bad, big bad, mean world uh, with no hope for help from any f anywhere," and um, yeah, but. We can hope for help uh, from from us helping each other, making this a better place. And uh, if you I, I, uh, just like the idea of the universe as a as a god, as my god, uh, because it fills my spirituality, I can turn to God. I can turn to the universe. I can I can t contemplate, and um, that might be a way to. To get spirituality back back in the life, which yeah, we need spirituality. I don't know why. Yeah, maybe maybe it was pointed out. We we need it just to fill gaps. <laughs> so, uh, but that's okay. I mean, if I fill a gap in my universe with my universe, I can't go be wrong, can't I? Um, so, well, yeah, that's part of my point, and I thank you for listening, and I'm looking forward uh, to your responses. Thanks and bye.